President Trump pushes back against Democrats who had tough questions for Attorney General William Barr during Wednesday's hearing. In an interview, the president claimed Senators Cory Booker, Amy Klobuchar, and Kamala Harris grilled the Attorney General for political points. He also took aim at Senator Harris, saying she was, quote, very nasty due to her heated exchange with Barr. Did you personally review all of the underlying evidence? Uh, no, we took an accept did, 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 we accepted did Mr. Rosenstein? No, we accepted the statements in the report as the factual record. We did not go underneath it to see whether or not they were accurate. We accepted it as accurate and made our So made you our accepted decision. the report as the evidence? Yes. You did not question or look at the underlying evidence that supports the conclusions in the report? No. I think you've I made Several Democrats have called on Barr to resign following Wednesday's hearing. The president says these demands are ridiculous. Now, One America's John Hines has more from Capitol Hill. Attorney General William Barr appeared for the first time on Capitol Hill since the release of the full Mueller report, in this case before the Senate Judiciary Committee. Chairman Lindsey Graham, in opening remarks, tipped his hand on where his upcoming investigation into the genesis of the Mueller probe might go, referring to biased texts and emails from FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, Senior Agent Peter Strzok, and DOJ lawyer Lisa Page, and others, suggesting they could be called before his committee in due course. Barr cleared up the controversy surrounding Robert Mueller's March 27th letter, which was recently leaked to the Washington Post, saying that Mueller told him he was concerned, mainly about media distortion of the Mueller report itself. According to a phone call that Barr had with Mueller, Barr said Mueller wanted him to release about 20 additional pages, only of executive summaries. But Barr declined, saying he would prefer to release the whole report at once, rather than summaries, which he said are subjective and selective in nature. Now, with release of the full report, with light redactions of about 10 percent of the text, Mueller's primary concern of release of more information has been addressed, which makes the Mueller letter a moot point. Regarding the decision on obstruction, Barr said that there was, quote, no corrupt intent beyond a reasonable doubt. This is the standard necessary to establish a credible charge, which is the job of the Justice Department. Asked if Mueller should testify, Barr said he has no objections, but that it's up to President Trump to decide whether former White House counsel Don McGahn would testify. And he added that Trump has legitimate objective to McGahn's testimony. Responding to the episode in which Trump appeared to direct McGahn to remove Mueller due to conflicts of interest, Barr said that Trump truly believed that Mueller was conflicted and that, quote, removing him, Barr said, is far different from, quote, firing him, which implies that a new special counsel would be appointed, thus there would be no corrupt intent. Finally, in response to questioning from at least two senators, Barr said that there are multiple criminal leak investigations underway related to the media's coverage of the Russia investigation. John Hines, One America News, Capitol Hill. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.